I have no clue. I was a diplomat before becoming a president of ICRC, and most likely I would have continued uh, to be a Swiss ambassador somewhere. I must say what I liked in my profession as a diplomat is, uh, the, is negotiating. That's what I have done for 25 years of my life before becoming president of ICRC. I think over those uh, many years I have seen the sort of uh, specificity and also the selectiveness of institution. institutions. Institutions are great to anchor people, they are great in structure and process and foreseeability because that's what institutions do. But institutions have difficulties in lateral thinking have difficulties with important general issues of societies and therefore we need to think about people within institutions and how to connect people within institutions to give that sense of connectedness that institutions with mandates, principles, laws normally don't offer to people. Institutions are here for people and people have their own views on how to collaborate, to cooperate. Uh, CCHN has pushed this collaborative approach through communities of practice, uh, communities of experience, communities of professionals. And I think this is exactly the add-on and the value added that I see in meetings like this. This convergence and conversation between short-term traditional emergencies and longer-term system transformation which questions the fundamentals of humanitarianism is one of the big challenges we are going to confront. I would believe that still the humanitarian sector comes from firefighter mentality. You don't discuss when there is a fire, you extinguish the fire. But on the other hand, we see that many of the complex issues that we are faced with aren't discussions. We have to listen to communities. We have to listen to the specificity of contexts. We have to adapt responses which need to be more flexible to situations in which we find ourselves and which are imminently different. Otherwise, we will go into the perpetuation of humanitarian assistance. I see CCHN as an important translator between a traditional old system, which is not even anymore a system embraced by the organization, but uh, also a new vision of humanitarian assistance. We need translators and CCHN is a good translator. Frontline negotiators are by definition loners and uh, being connected to a broader community is of critical importance. I do believe that the digital transformation which has been accelerated and accentuated by the pandemic is a huge opportunity. 